Hey everyone, Humphrey here with Router Guides. We're here at Fortune Town for um, Gao MRT station. We're gonna take a little walk, about 30 minutes, a 30 minute stroll. We're gonna go north on Ratchara Pisek. Probably around two to three subway stops worth of walking. Why are we doing that? Just because trying to get away from the election coverage. Today is Wednesday night and Wednesday night in Bangkok, which means it is Wednesday morning, Tuesday night, uh, Wednesday morning back in the United States. So votes are being tallied and we'll figure out who's president. Right now it looks like Trump, so that's okay. Wherever you voted for, if you voted for Trump, that's fine. If you voted not for Trump, that's fine as well. And if you did not vote, that's completely cool. I'm okay with that. Okay, so as we do our little walk, I'll tell you what's going on. Okay, if we look over here to our right, Central Rama 9. Very nice mall. I highly, highly recommend going to Central Rama 9. This Baramgao MRT station, it is two stops away, two stops north of Sukhumvit Asok. Very easy to get to. Should cost you less than 30 baht. I don't really count how much it costs because I have one of those MRT cards. So I just load it up with money and when it gets down close to zero, I refill it. So Central Rama 9. Now, to the left, over here, this is known as Fortune Town Mall. It's been around here for decades, like, literally decades. It's got a Starbucks there. It's got a, right next to Starbucks, there's also a up and coming coffee shop called One Two Coffee. One Two Two, kind of an interesting name. Coffee's pretty decent and of course cheaper. Well, of course, most places the coffee is cheaper than Starbucks. So the thing about Fortune Town is that is the mall to go to for cameras, laptops, anything electronic, that's Fortune Town. Whether you want it new or used, it's got all the shops. All the shops. If you can't find it at Fortune Town, it probably doesn't exist. And it has just turned six o'clock, actually it's 6.04 p.m. We're gonna continue walking north. It's nice and cool. And if you're curious, we are filming on the DJI Pocket 3 at 4K 60. Everything's on auto settings. I'm not, I'm not trying to do a ninja walk or anything. And we're using the regular we're not doing any lens attachments. It's just a normal built-in lens. So in early November, 6 p.m., weather is quite okay. It's, you wouldn't want to do this walk in uh, April or May, that's for sure. If you've never been to Thailand, yes, there is McDonald's and Burger King and all the major franchisees in Thailand. The McDonald's tastes the same. They have pretty much the same menu. The Big Macs, the Quarter Pounders, Chicken McNuggets, filet fish And they got some interesting ones, like some different breakfast options as well.
And speaking of chains, KFC, Lotus. So Lotus, Lotus Tops and Big C are kind of like their uh, major supermarkets. Not too many locations for Lotus, or as the Thai say, Lotus. vehicle charging station. Also, uh, Tesla is starting to come in and many of the major malls are starting to get Tesla charging, Tesla charging stations. I was in Pattaya a couple months ago at the Central, no, actually it was Terminal 21. But your Terminal 21 and Central Festival they both had Tesla charging spots. I can see the flickering, so I didn't set the shutter speed correctly, but too late. Apologies for that. So as I said, Lotus is their supermarket slash kind of like a Walmart or Target. You can find your furnishings, you can find food, medications, most medications, toiletries, lotion, etc. And this is a, sh a shrine you'll see at many, pretty much like most major buildings, you'll see some type of little shrine in front. Very common thing in Thailand. And so looking back, so now we're facing south. I used to live in this neighborhood. I used to live at the Satara Apartments. And the way I used to get there is I would take, this was my major, MRT station, but I'm at closest MRT station. And the way I would get there is I would line up, you see all these people lining up. And so they line up there, and then the next available, the next available motorcycle person, which would probably this guy, comes up and picks them up. It's a nice assembly line of riders and passengers. And so they would go up towards that direction to go to the apartment. It was about, uh, about a three to four minute ride away. And then we'd ride through the, you know, it's kind of like going through the, the mall parking lot area. Okay, we'll continue going north. Decent looking signage. One thing you'll see in, in Bangkok quite a bit is they love their LED lights and LED signs. They're just like, whoever can make the biggest, brightest ones, they're popping up everywhere. Case in point, the, the two big ones that we're walking up right now.
Okay, so this area, when you get to Ratchada Pisek and you get to Faramgao and two to three stations north, this area is very popular with Chinese. And the reason for that is you've got, well, the rents are, are lower, you've got more Chinese people, you've got more restaurants, but you've got the Chinese embassy, you have Huawei headquarters, the Huawei headquarters for Thailand, and you've got lots of Chinese-oriented businesses. So, yeah, this area you're going to see a lot of Chinese people. It is crowded here. And when I went to Chula the University, for my level five of intensive Thai. Many of my classmates, many of my Chinese classmates, said predominantly Japanese, Chinese, and like one Korean classmate. But most of the Chinese classmates lived in this area. And you can kind of see, now we're looking east. Big hotel, office buildings. And as we walk north, we'll, we'll come to a point where you'll see a whole bunch of office buildings. I remember that was always a challenge, getting across that street. So this stretch has a long stretch of nothingness. I'm pretty sure to our left is the Chinese embassy. So we'll be walking a decent amount without any uh, features because it's just a, a blank wall with spikes on top. So you got the Furumgao MRT station. If you go one station south, one station south, you're gonna hit Petchaburi. And Petchaburi station has the airport rail link, the ARL. So when you come into Thailand, when you come to Bangkok, Savanapum Airport, or you want to exit out of Savanapum Airport, you go to, you can take the MRT to Petrovery Station, and then you have to get out of the MRT station and switch over to uh, the ARL station, Airport Rail Link Station. It's pretty cheap. I like taking it. It's uh, about 25 minutes or so to and from the airport very fast. It's a very nice and quick way to get in and out of that airport area. Also, Petroberry has tons of uh, condos, lots and lots of condos. Check this building out. There we got condos on the right side, which would be east, looking east. Looks pretty convenient, condo next to an office complex. So if you work at the office complex and you live at the condo, happy days. So this walk that I'm doing on Ratchana Pisek, I'm walking north. Usually what I've done is I've done this same, a very similar walk. I try to do it every four months or so, but I'm doing it walking southbound. So usually I'll pick like uh, Hoi Kuang or Ratchana Pisek and I'll walk south. And it takes a while, it takes about one or two hours, but I'll walk south to Sukhumvit. So here we're just doing the same thing. We're just doing the opposite direction. It's 
Stock Exchange of Thailand, set. And another thing you'll see at government buildings is a picture portrait of the king. Always respect the royal family in Thailand. So you probably heard the security guards love their whistles in Thailand. It's kind of a, one of those running jokes. It's just you give them a whistle and now they have ultimate power. So I've been in Thailand for this, on this trip, full time, little over two years. I left Cisco back in August 22. So let's see, August, September, October, November. So it'd be two years and three months. But in total, if you add up all the trips I've come to Thailand, I've probably been in Thailand for six plus years. And so before I worked for Cisco, I would spend Wow, so you know, three months and then I'd do the extension, I'd hop out, I'd come back. So a lot of times I would do a six month trip and I did that multiple times. If you look back on my channel, you've probably seen some of the journalistic adventures I've had in Bangkok during the riots and during the red shirt protests and Bangkok shut down. It was 2010, 2011, 2012, etc. we have gone one MRT station, Thailand Cultural Center. So Thailand loves their malls, especially Bangkok really loves their malls. And we're coming up to one, it's called the Esplanad. It's a very good one. Although I haven't been here in about 
four months or so. But why not? Why don't we just kind of run through here? Everyone's got their Christmas tree up. So all the malls started putting up their Christmas trees and all the malls are, have started playing the Christmas music. So if you're into Mariah Carey, you're gonna get a lot of Mariah Carey and uh, George Michael. I will start in the basement. So usually for most malls, the basement is where all the restaurants are. And so Thailand loves, of course, you know, there's, there's Thai food, there's boba shops, there's Thai tea. So this, this guy right here, Cha Tarama, very popular brand for Thai iced tea. A lot of times, uh, especially the Terminal 21 branch, the queue will be 20 to 30 deep. And people will buy their Thai iced tea and they'll, they'll hold it up for, for pictures and Instagram. What do we got here? 79 baht. 79 baht is approximately $2.10. So if you ever want to get a bowl of cheap noodles that's reasonably priced, Hachiban 8. So it's about $3. So you should get you should get this one right here. 108 baht. Hundred and eight baht, and then I'll get a green tea. Green tea in a bottle. Ah, Sizzler. So Interesting thing about Thailand is brands that would be considered old fashioned in the US, like Sizzler, I mean Sizzler is pretty much dead in the US. They get a second life, they kind of get resurrected back in Thailand. So it's kind of like a 20 to 30 year lag where if brands that were, brands that were famous 20 to 30 years ago that were popular 20 to 30 years ago are when they come to Thailand, now they're cool, right? So Starbucks, Starbucks is cool in Thailand. Whereas in the United States, Starbucks is kind of like meh. It's just like normal, whatever. Krispy Kreme donut, well actually Krispy Kreme donut in Thailand is no longer that cool. But about five years ago, or actually when it first moved to Thailand, I forget the exact day when it first moved to Thailand. It, uh, I mean, the queue, the line was, was insane. So it was, it was cool. One thing to caution you, if you're ever gonna do something similar 
basically long walks in Bangkok, uh, actually pretty much anywhere in Thailand. The sidewalk situation is not ideal. And if you have a bad back, be really, really careful about walking on the sidewalks. And just to demonstrate as I pan down. So this is the, this is the sidewalk situation. Things are not even, things are, are chipped. Uh, you got loose tiles, so when it rains, it's kind of dangerous. The Thais call it a, uh, it's a bomb. <laughs> it's, a, it's basically an IED where the water gets trapped under the tile and you don't know it until you actually step, step on the tile. And look at this. Right? Got just like the sidewalk all torn up. And so that's the that's normal Bangkok sidewalk situation. Ratchet up sec there is a lot of, uh, there's definitely a lot of traffic on Ratchet up sec So that's one thing to consider if you're gonna live in this area. Along with, if you live in this area, if, if you go to downtown a lot, you're going to have to take two trips. The first trip will be going on the MRT station to Sukhumvit. And then the second trip will be when you transfer to the SkyTrain. You'll transfer to the SkyTrain and then take uh, two to three stops down to Chitlom or CM or wherever you need to go. passing the other side, the northern side, the northern exit of the Thailand Cultural Center MRT station. It's actually quite a distance between the two, the north and the south sides. So one thing to notice if actually you've been watching for the last 30 minutes is that uh, the, you know, there are tourists, there are non-Thais in this area. And uh, as an example, <laughs> that was one. But um, versus walking on Sukhumvit, when you walk on Sukhumvit, it's almost like the, the foreigners outnumber the Thais. But once you get on Rachna Pisek, the, the numbers certainly dwindled down. So if you want the, um, if, if you want the, I guess, if you want to call it authentic Thai experience, you're going to get more of that here. And, oh, look at that. Wow. Jod fairs, okay. So this used to be at Phram Gao. And it has now moved out here. So if you want the kind of like your night market shops, restaurants, this is kind of cool. We got lawn chairs set up here. I have not actually been out here since it moved. This is pretty cool. Okay, video is probably going to be really shaky because I'm walking on this.
got another mall here. Uh, this is one I don't usually go to because I Big C is kind of like another Target, Walmart type shop, but I usually go to Lotus. So that would be at the Fortune Town Mall. That was about 30 minutes. That was 30 minutes before. But uh, once in a while I do go here, but usually what happens, I'm gonna show you what's coming up. I go to a mall that's up here because it's a 24 hour mall. So it's called the Street at Ratchida. It's a 24 hour mall, it's got a 24 hour Starbucks, multiple 24 hour restaurants, a food land, etc. And so we're almost there. All right, the street at Ratchida. Once again, 24 hours. So if you're a vampire night owl like I am, this is the perfect place to go to study. And so my typical thing is there's a Holly's coffee right there. It's 24 hours. And then over to the other end, the northern end is the Starbucks. And then mo many of the restaurants, Burger King, KFC, etc., they're open 24 hours. So what you do is you start off your night studying. Maybe you come in at 11 p.m., study for a couple hours, take a break, get a bite to eat, and then return to Starbucks or you could switch it up to another coffee shop. Food land, ATM machines, it's got pretty much everything. It's a nice, it's a, it's a nice decent sized mall. One of the nice things, once you get towards the end of the year, is everyone puts up their lights. Oh, there's also next to the, along this end, there's a 24 hour pharmacy. So also a 7-Eleven, but a 24 hour pharmacy, if you ever need to get any medications, like serious medications, they're open. KFC, 24 hours. And as I said, this Starbucks is open 24 hours. It's got plenty of seating, plenty of plugs. There's a huge, large table in the middle there. And uh, that's usually where I hang out. Bring a jacket, because they tend to keep the air con in there super chilly. But yeah, we've been going for a little bit. I think I'll stop it here. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the section below, the comment section below. 
we'll be doing more walks. I just wanted to do this as an experiment and we'll probably do, do some more of this. All right, Humphrey with Router Gods. Take care, stay safe, bye.